Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Ali. if you're new to my channel, and welcome to Beauty With A Purpose. So if you are new, my name is Ali. I upload four videos a week, beauty, Bible, and lifestyle. So if any of those interest you, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and let's get into today's video. All right, you guys, so for today's video, um, I was inspired, well, re-inspired to do it by Leela um, here on YouTube. And then I also, I originally watched Tushy Jazz's video about this video, or what? Okay, I'm doing the 21 questions makeup edition <laughs> tag. And I was re-inspired by Leela here on YouTube uh, to do it. But I originally watched Tushy Jazz's video whom they got the inspiration from Allie Glines to do it. I don't personally watch Allie Glines, but I do watch GC Jazz and I watch Lila. And I thought it was such a fun makeup tag to do. So that is actually what we are going to do today. And we're just gonna start answering these questions. Okay. So the first question is, what is the oldest makeup product in your collection? So, the oldest makeup product I have in my collection is actually the ABH, uh, yeah, the ABH Modern Renaissance Palette. Such a pretty palette. I don't use it as much as I should because it is actually one of my favorite palettes. But yeah, that is actually the oldest makeup product that I have in my collection. What is your most recent makeup purchase? Okay, so the very last thing that I bought was actually an order from Sephora. But the most exciting thing out of that order is the Dominique Cosmetics Latte Palette. I have wanted that palette since she released it, but I was kind of poor at the time that she released it. I mean, I'm not rich now, but like, we just weren't in a financial position to where I could be spending $40 on an eyeshadow palette, but I busted my butt off for my birthday so that way I could, like, so that way I could specifically buy myself some high-end makeup and that is the most exciting thing that I bought myself was the Dominique Cosmetics Latte Palette. What is the first makeup product you ever used? And the first makeup product I ever used because my mom was very, very strict and I could not wear makeup until I was 16 and the reason was because I could, wasn't allowed to wear makeup until I could buy it myself because my mom was not going to buy makeup for me. She didn't think I needed makeup even though she wore makeup. She did not think I needed makeup so the only way I was able to wear, wear it was whenever I could buy it for myself and so I was 16 years old and at that she was like only mascara and eyeliner. So I the first makeup product I ever wore was the Stilettos Mascara from Maybelline. And that little thing used to be bomb. I should buy it again and try it out, see if I still like it as much as I did then. Cause I've not tried that in forever. What is a makeup trend that you used to love, but now you hate? Okay, makeup trend I used to love, but now I hate. Okay, so the makeup trend I used to love was actually doing the huge triangles of um, concealer to highlight and things like that. And now I can't stand it because I'm getting older, I've had more kids, and I'm just a lot more tired. And that's not very flattering on me. So now I, it looks good on so many other people that I see do it, but on me, it's way too much, it's way too cakey, and now I hate it and I would not do it. like. I just don't, like, I no longer, I used to love it, now I hate it, just, yeah, like, I feel like that's so much concealer. And so, what is a makeup trend that you used to hate, but now you love? Okay, cleaning up your brows, the whole Instagram brow thing, which I realized you can actually clean up your brows without having Instagram brows, so now I love it. I used to think that it was such an unnecessary step and then my best friend came over one day and she did it with some makeup that I have here. And I was like, huh. So after she left, I tried it and I was like, oh my gosh. And I haven't gone back since. So I used to think that hated and used to think that cleaning up your brows was so unnecessary. And now it's so necessary and I love it. <laughs> what is your favorite step in your makeup routine? Has to be, and it's, it's, it's a, it's a dead tie. Has to be between applying your foundation and your lashes. 
for the same exact reason sometimes your eyelash look doesn't look or your eyelash your eyeshadow look doesn't look complete till you have on lashes and sometimes even if you put on lashes it don't look complete until you put on foundation so it has to be between applying lashes and putting on your foundation are like my favorite steps in applying your makeup okay so what is a makeup product you can't live without makeup product i cannot live without is brow gel because even if i'm not putting on makeup i will still throw a brow gel into my brows and it makes me look 10 times better than i did like just something about neat full looking brows just still makes your face look so put together without having anything or at least for me makes my face look so much more put together and like it's not even anything big like even a clear brow gel it doesn't even have to be a tinted brow gel so i could not live without brow gel i know super random what sparked your love for makeup um i used to be very very bullied and in my freshman year i found youtube and i just used to love watching people transform their face with makeup and like how like just how much you could change the way you look just with makeup and i just always wanted to feel better about myself because of the bullying that i went through and so yeah um just finding comfort in makeup and watching people do their makeup and yeah so yeah being bullied sparked my love for makeup what is the worst makeup look you've ever done y'all that has to be anything i did in high school and yeah i'm gonna try to find some pics but i used to put liquid foundation on powder foundation on all over my face bronzer all over my face a blush I used to wear, you know, like this was back whenever like wearing a t-shirt with a cami underneath and it would be two different colors was in style. So I would put one eyeshadow on top to match my cami and I would put another colored eyeshadow underneath to match my shirt and I was just doing the most. So, and I used to not even do my brows. So I had on all this makeup with no brows. Like, <laughs> where, high school days is my worst makeup look ever. What is your favorite makeup look you've ever done? Ooh. Ooh, I feel like, man, I feel like my makeup game has just gotten so strong, but it has to do be between the blue makeup look that I recently did. Cause I just thought that blue, I just thought that blue smoky eye was so cute. And the makeup look that I did with the BH Cosmetic Lunar New Year palette between those two looks but those are my most and it's so crazy because one's all warm toned and red and orange and the other one's all cool toned and blue so has to be those two favorite looks like my those two looks are battling for my favorite whenever i instantly thought about my favorite looks what is your favorite drugstore makeup product um la girl shady slim brow pencil that is some like that brow pencil is just so good I, I love that brow pencil. What is your favorite slur slurge splurge makeup item? So I haven't got it yet, but I already know I'm gonna love it. So my favorite splurge makeup item is the Dominique Cosmetics palette. Because like I said, it's just something I wanted since she released it years ago and I'm finally in a position where I could buy it. So yeah. Um, what is your most repurchased makeup product? Again, that is the LA Girl Shady Slim Brow Pencil. My favorite, um, my most repurchased makeup product. Shady, LA Girl Shady Slim Brow Pencil. What is your earliest makeup memory? Um, okay, so this was a little bit before I started doing being extra, super extra with my makeup in high school. Um, my older, this is what actually led me into being super extra with my makeup in high school. My older sister, one year for Christmas, had got me this huge, elizabeth arden makeup box and it had like eyeshadows blush lipsticks lip glosses like all kinds of makeup products in there and that was like my oldest like my first makeup memory that where i was really like oh like i really 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 gotta learn like how to do makeup now and obviously i didn't learn because i was doing full face with no brows but yeah that is my earliest makeup memory what is your favorite place to shop for makeup? You guys already know, like, do I even have to say it? Ulta, I just truly feel like nobody is beating um, Ulta's point system. Like nobody's beating that point system. And I've been platinum for going on two years. It's ridiculous. Three years, been platinum for going on three years. Um, at least I'm not diamond though, because I believe diamond has been a thousand dollars a year and platinum is 500 a year, I believe. 
What is the most underrated makeup product you own? Ooh, it has to be the Makeup Revolution Hydra Mist Setting Spray, Fixing Spray. Hydra, it's either Hydra Mist Fixing Spray or Setting Spray, or Hydra Matte. I'm sorry, I'm saying it all wrong. The Makeup Revolution, the Revol, oh my gosh, the Revolution Pro Hydra Matte Fixing Spray, I think it's called, or it's called Setting Spray. But I think dry skin people are scared to use it because it says matte and I feel like matte people are scared to use or matte oily people are scared to use it because it says hydra but it's like the perfect combination of two of the two and it truly does like excuse me it helps your makeup just melt into your face and like it just adds like this natural glow without making you oily because my favorite time of the year to use that spray is in the summertime and that's because my skin is more oily during the summertime but it doesn't make me oily so i i recommend if you're oily or if you're dry try that the hydra matte fixing spray from revolution pro and you can buy that at ulta that's where i bought mine from avi so yeah absolutely love that spray and I, and I don't hear any, like literally the people I watch, I do not hear talk about that spray, like at all. What is the most overrated makeup product you own? So anything ColourPop that I own, like I love this blush, but okay, so they're eyeshadows, ColourPop eyeshadows, cause I have two of their palettes and like they're good and they're blendable, but my complaint with ColourPop eyeshadows is that they never really look how they look in the pan. Like once you apply it to your eye, it's always a tiny bit different than what it looks like in the pan. And I just, so for that reason, I feel like they're overhyped because not many people talk about the fact that they don't look the same once you apply them as they do on your eye. But yeah, that's that's just me personally from what I've experienced, especially like from their nine pan eyeshadow palettes. I feel like they're a little bit overhyped and for that reason, they're always just a tiny, like a smidge different on the on your on your actual eye when you apply them than what they look like in the pan what is a discontinued makeup product you wish would come back okay i used to love the little single wet and wild eyeshadow in the shade brulee and i wish they would bring that back because i have so many eyeshadow palettes where it doesn't have like a cream shade to set your eyelid and i just feel like that would be so like, like that single eyeshadow would be so perfect for me to just own and it was like a dollar or 98 cents at walmart and i'm just like i need that right now in my life because it would be so easy to just have a single affordable cream little eyeshadow to set no to set with whenever i have an eyeshadow palette that doesn't have that cream shade in there so i really wish that they would bring that back where do you go for makeup inspiration um instagram um, and specifically the, I follow the hat, uh, the hashtag makeup junkies on Instagram. And that is really where I get a lot of my, um, makeup inspiration from. And then obviously YouTube, but YouTube for me is more of like a calming relaxation thing. Like I'm not like I'm going there to, I enjoy watching people do their makeup, but for in for, I don't know. It's so weird for inspiration. I go to that hashtag on Instagram. What do you hope to see less of in makeup's future? Um, I hope to see less, like I wish more brands would stop using chemicals in their makeup. I just wish like, I don't know, like this is so weird, but I don't know, what, what do I wish I could see less of in makeup's future? Um, lack of shade range, I guess you would, I would, I would say, or eyeshadow palettes. Like I feel like there's so many eyeshadow palettes out there. Um, but for sure, lack of shade range in, um, and not just shades, but even undertones. Like I think that lack of that, I wish to see less of. So in a sense, I wanna see more of that. But I have to answer it that way because what I hope to see more of in makeup future, makeup, which is the next question. So what do I hope to see more of is more affordable options for clean beauty. Like does clean beauty exist? Yes, but I wish there was more of it at the drugstore for people who can't afford to pay you know, $15 and up for clean beauty because I feel like $11 is stretching it. Like, I feel like that's stretching it for a lot of people because I feel like it's a hard pill to swallow when I have to spend more than $11 for anything. And so it's like clean beauty. I would really love to see more of that at the drugstore in, you know, in makeup's future. But 
yeah that is it for this video you guys i hope that you enjoyed it go ahead and answer some of these questions down below i tag all of you to do it especially if you have a youtube channel i tag you to do this tag and so yeah i love you guys always remember that jesus loved you more if you haven't already please go ahead and give me a thumbs up also hit that subscribe button and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys Mwah.